New at six, a couple facing serious charges after their three children told police they felt unsafe in their home. Police say the children told them they were kept under constant surveillance, and that's not all. Shelly Bortz talked with police and the family's neighbors today. Yeah, let's get right to her live now at the Allegheny County Jail. And Shelly, what did police actually find there? Well, police here tell me if they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, they wouldn't have even believed what the children claimed was going on in their home behind closed doors, including constant video surveillance and most of the food behind locked doors. What prompted us was a 911 hang up call on the morning of January 18th. That 911 hang up call led Allegheny Township Police to a familiar address, the home of Leanne and Nevin Lawson here on Indian Hill Road. What investigators found on this domestic call set into motion an investigation that uncovered disturbing claims about what was going on behind closed doors. It was clear that there was definitely. Uh, an uncomfortable situation to say the least for the children in the home. Over the course of several days, the children ages 9 to 16 were interviewed separately at their schools. They told investigators very consistent stories of mental and verbal abuse at the hands of their parents. There were cameras in all the rooms, uh, devices set up to limit access. And I'm not just talking about padlocks or hasps, I'm talking about high tech locks that you had to know like secret codes and ways to swipe things in order to gain access to these cabinets. Chief Fisher says most of the food was behind those cabinets. Furthermore, he tells me there were secret rooms and passageways throughout the house. He says the basement where the oldest son's bedroom is looks like it's straight out of the movie Silence of the Lambs. The only bathroom the kids could use is in the basement too. And when police interviewed the children at their schools, they found the nine-year-old daughter wearing only a shirt for a dress with no tights and it was below low 20 degrees that day. This situation, I believe, has been going on for some time. Neighbor Tom Polchinski tells me he was devastated to hear the news. He says the two boys did a lot of yard work for him over the three years they lived across the street. He describes them as mannerly and hardworking. I just hope the kids are all right because we really like the kids. I mean, the little girl, we didn't see that often. Very only getting up on a school bus and that. But the, the boys, we, we were had a nice bond together. Right now, the children are not in the custody of their parents. A no contact order was placed as a condition of the parents' bond. That was one of the things that was um, clearly stated by the kids that they, they were happy to feel safe. The Lawsons were released on $25,000 bond, and I'm told both preliminary hearings have been postponed until April 5th. Reporting live in Allegheny Township, Westmoreland County, I'm Shelley Bortz for KDKA News.